what's up guys it's talia welcome back to my channel today i am going to be unboxing or technically unbagging as you can see an order that came in yesterday um and i thought i would go ahead and uh give you guys a quick video um but you know me i talk a lot so it probably won't be quick the order that you're looking at right now, um, you're seeing the details on the screen right now. Um, let me bring this up so you can see it a little bit better. Um, this order comes to us from Sigma. Um, it's one of those companies where people always have a lot of questions about. Um, so I thought I would give them a shot. They had a special sale going on and their, their sale does change from time to time. But they had a special sale going on of buy two, get one free. So I picked out a few, um, few diamond paintings. Two of them were $10 each. And then the third one was free, as you can see. Um, shipping wasn't that bad. Shipping was only $5. Um, I ordered this. Um, the best I can tell is I actually ordered this on July the 9th. Um... It says it was dispatched or it, it cleared the um, facility on the 10th. Um, my tracking app, um, I had had to translate the writing, which um, basically said that it entered site of e-commerce on the 10th. So I'm not sure what that means. Um, but I received this on August the 10th. So about a month to get to me so not too bad um i've had worse so let's see what sigma is all about Put this over there for now so i know a lot of people ask about sigma um it's one of those um companies that comes up on your facebook feed every once in a while if you follow enough diamond painting stuff so I'm cutting into this and these look like they are individually bagged on the inside. So that's everything that's in the bag. Okay, um, this one's kind of heavy. This one's pretty light, so. Um, there are labels on here, but it's not going to be any help as to which which painting is what. So, I guess we're just going to get into this. So, we'll put these two over to the side for now. So, let's see what the first one is. Um, okay. This one, uh, th this canvas, before I get into it, this canvas is the cheaper, um, kind of rough, papery feeling one. So, this is the first canvas. Let me see if I can fold this back a little bit to kind of get some of these wrinkles out. And luckily, this is poured glue, so it's not going to affect... Um, me folding this back is not really going to affect it that much. So, um, this is the picture of Jesus walking on the beach. Um, I'm not super religious, but I do kind of like this picture. Um, it's just, it's a thing. I do feel like Sigma is another one of those third party sellers that they maybe they purchase the canvases from different suppliers and different companies and they sell them for a little bit of a higher price because this one was ten dollars <laughs> so and this is a 30 by 30 as you can see I, I guess this kind of should be unrolled enough for you to be able to make it out it's not gonna be perfect 
Anyway. Anyway, that's what you get. Um, so this is the kit. Just your standard green boats, pink pen, single placer, a few baggies in there, and a small um, square of wax. Um, the symbols on this look pretty good from what I can see. They are DMC numbered. It's a number you don't see a lot of. It's 152. Um, symbols look really good, really clear. Um, this um, canvas does have that slight sparkle to it. Um, yeah, everything looks really good. I Luckily, these colors are lighter, so I don't foresee me having to have a light pad but knowing me my old eyes i probably will so yeah it doesn't look like there's going to be anything that's going to confuse itself with another number or another letter um yeah it's a mix of num of of um this one is a mix of capital letters and symbols like the and sign the dollar sign percentage sign um and the, the hashtag symbol. And they do, as you can see, they do have the grid on both sides. So that's good. So let me measure this real quick and see if it's an actual 30 by 30. Which it probably isn't. I'm going to assume it probably isn't. No, this one is 24 by... 24 yeah so you're getting about three centimeters on each side for the grid so here's the drill um, separate. this has 23 colors so yeah um, really pretty colors here We'll go through these. There's number one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, which I can tell is 550, right? Yeah, I'm good, I'm good at, seeing, at noticing 154 and 550. Number nine, 10, 11, which is so sparkly, it almost looks like an AB, but it's not an AB. 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, dusty purple color there, 19, and 20. And then we have 21, and then 22, and 23. So, the diamonds, I mean, they, they look pretty good, just judging from what I can see on the pack. Um, they're nice and, and shiny, which to me means that they're probably resin. Or acrylic. I think they're acrylic. That means they're acrylic. Um, they look pretty good. Um, I'm not seeing any trash right off the bat. Um, the drills don't look really like misshapen or anything. The drills look pretty good from what I can see. So that's a plus. You don't like the, the crinkling I apologize it's, it is what it is so let me get a baggie out real quick and we will write down 
the drill details. This is from Sigma. Um, the call is Jesus Beach. Um, this is a 30 by 30. This is a round drill and it has 23 colors. I forgot to put the canvas, uh, canvas one on there. Canvas ne uh, number. So that is H G X O four six. Okay. Sorry, forgot to write that canvas number on there. Cause you never know. In the future, I might get another Jesus walking on the beach. So that's what that one looks like. Pretty good. For a 30 by 30, that's not so bad. So, let's get into the next one. I know, I'm trying to... Just like dropping everything over here. So, let's get into the next one. Um, don't know which one this one is exactly, but we're going to find out. So... This one seems to be a little wider because it's coming to the edge. This one has, I don't know, it's, it's not the same kind of canvas. I think this one, yes, this is my Jack Skellington. Um, so let's unroll him. Um, same toolkit without the baggies. So let me do a little something something on him real quick. I guess I forgot to check the stickiness on the last one, but this one seems pretty sticky. Yeah, this one's pretty sticky. Okay, this is my Jack Skellington Freddy Krueger. <laughs> um, I saw this, I saw this design on the side, and I just, it was a little new to me. I'd never seen it before, and I thought it was cute. So I thought I would go ahead and get it. Um, this one doesn't have the DMC codes either on the canvas or 
it look, doesn't look like they're on the, the drill packets either. So this one is not DMC coated. Um, I can tell you, I'm sure there's a lot of black in here because all this in here, that's all the same symbol. Um, so yeah, there's going to be a lot of black in this one. So I wouldn't doubt if there were a couple of packs of black in this, in this set. But everything looks really good. As far as the dark symbols, it doesn't look like there's going to be anything that's going to get confused. Because you've got like N, you got a capital M, you've got a capital Z. Um, there's an AN sign that looks like probably a dark purple. Probably 154, it usually is. Um, and even like the Z is probably a dark gray. Um, yeah, M and yeah, everything looks really good. Um, like in these res, you've got like a capital D, you've got the hashtag, um, E S A H L is kind of this lighter color right here. Yeah, everything looks really good. It doesn't look like there's going to be anything that's going to get confused. Um, again, with the last one, it uses a mix of capital letters and a few symbols. Like I said, there's an A in sign, there's an equal sign, a percentage sign, the hashtag, and a big dot. Um, and that big dot is right here in his face, which is probably going to be either a light gray or an off-white. I guess I'll find out when I open the drills so looks pretty good to me um but let me measure real quickly so i don't feel like this is going to be a 30 by 40 like it says it is this is a 24 and a half by About 34 and a half, so no, not a 30 by 40. So that 30 by 40 number is your canvas size. So let's get into the drills real quick. Crinkle, crinkle. Ooh, that pink is different. I just noticed there's a pink color. It seems a little out of place, but I guess I will find out where that goes. That is number 15. Doesn't seem like there's a lot of it. So 15 is A, um, mixed in with here. Yeah, got a couple here and a few there. So it looks like it's mixed in with a shirt. Anyway, yeah, I see several big full bags of black. So, let's see what we got here. We've got this pretty peach color. That's um, going to be number one, which is that L color that I was talking about. That light color right there. Um, two, which is the AN symbol, which that looks like the 154, like I said. Three, the tiniest bit of gray. Four, bag one. Four, bag two. Four, bag three. Three bags of black. Five. Six. Seven. Which is five fifty. Looks like a five fifty. And seven is that percentage sign. So that is going to be. I just saw it like a little while ago. Well. It's in there somewhere. It's funny how when you start looking for something, you can't find it. Eight. Nine. Ten. Sorry, Eleven. Twelve. Yeah, twelve looks like... I'm not going to say an egg crew, but possibly like a seven, twelve. It's an off-white. Um, and then we got 13, which is kind of an orangey red. 14. 15. That's that. 
I'm still, I'm still like a little bit blown away by these colors here. 16, which is a bright, bright coral red or corally pinky red color. 17 and 18. So, yes, we have 18 colors in here. So everything with him looks pretty good. Um, so let me get his drills bagged up real quick. Signal. We call this Jack. Did he spell Kruger? <laughs> Kruger. I guess that's how you spell his name. Um, this is canvas number. Uh, w L L one four eight. This is a thirty by forty round drill. And it has 18 colors. So, I know I seem to write them differently every time I write this out, but as long as the information is on there, it doesn't really matter to me. That is his kit. So I'm gonna put him up here. Okay, so then we have one more and that only leaves the wolf design. I don't usually go for like, like wolves and foxes and any other woodland creature that people can come up with that people seem to like. Um, I like elephants a little bit. Um, I do have a thing for tigers and lions, so it seems. But I don't usually do a lot of wolves. So this one is wrapped in its own little baggie. Let's get this one out. And as you can see, it does seem to be rolled outward, which is a big help. Um, but this is that same kind of thin papery canvas, kind of rough feeling. Uh, here he is. This actually makes things, showing this off, looking at this a lot easier. I'll always think about um, this one um, canvas that I unboxed one time and at the bottom it told you that there was a right side and a wrong side to the plastic film and I've been ever since then I've been looking for any other diamond painting that has that information and none of them ever do and I'm trying and I wonder which company that was, which um, manufacturer that was, that did that. So here's the wolf. Um, definitely sticky. Everything looks pretty good on this one as well. Um, this one has numbers on it as well as letters. So this one is a mix of uh, uppercase letters and numbers but just one through six, it looks like. One, two, three, four, five, six. 
seven, eight, nine, sorry, I misspoke. And then a mix of letters. I don't see anything. There's a D and a C. Um, now there's a D and a, a capital D and a capital C. Um, however, I don't have any trouble see differentiating which one's which. Um, I can look like in this section right here and see there's D and then there's C. Um, so I'm not having any trouble um, determining which one's which because these letters are very big and they're very, um, very bold printed. Um, so I'm not having any issues with those. So drill field on this looks good. Um, there are 24 colors in this one and these are DMC coded. There's a lot of 36, 3865. Um, there's a V, um, B symbol in here that is a, this 3865. Um, the C is 3756, which is the palest pale of gray, blue, white. It's not a bright white, but it's, it's an off white. Um, I apologize, that noise you hear is my dishwasher. Um, everything looks good on this one. I, I'm not seeing any issues on this one either. So, let's measure this. Um, this one is about just under 25 wide by um, about 34 and a half, just over 34 and a half. So that measurement, that 30 by 40 is the canvas as well. Um, here's your toolkits, another standard basic um, boat pen, baggy wax combo. I have like tiers of um, different levels of um, toolkits that you get. And that is, you have like level one, which literally all you're going to get is this. Is the green boat, a pen, and a small thing of wax. This would be level two. <laughs> um... Where, where they include a few baggies, but nothing to really, not enough to really matter. So, you know, they have that going for them, I guess. So, there's a few of the colors there. Um, this one, it doesn't look like the DMC colors are on the packets. So, you would need to save that um, information. We have a we have a runner um, that looks like a 154, so I'm wondering where he came out of. Um, although there is no 154 in this painting, ironically. Hmm. I wonder what color that is. Anywho, um, let's get into what colors we do have. So we have number one, number two, which is our black. Number three, number four, five. I'm assuming there are going to be a lot of levels of gray in this painting. Number six, number seven, number eight, number nine, number ten, eleven. There's a lot of uh, like a pale army green color. Twelve, thirteen. 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, which I'm looking, that's probably the one that escaped. Maybe, maybe not. Number 18 is 3371, which is a black brown. 19 and 20. And then we have 21. 
which is that that C uh, symbol that I was telling you about. Hi, Dean. Um, and then we have 22, 23, which is the dark, um, dark gray, and then 24, which is the 3865. So you can see these two colors right here will make up the wider parts of his body. So, so these look pretty good. These are usually, when they're in these packs, they're usually pretty good. I don't usually have any problems with these. So, yeah. Everything seems to look pretty good. Um, so let me do a bag real quick. Wave your tail. I'm sorry. You didn't have to jump up here. So this is Wolf. <laughs> what are you doing? You're pitiful. This cat is pitiful. Um, we'll say Wolf. Um, this is canvas number B001. <laughs> Looks like Boo One. <laughs> Um, this is a 30 by 40 and wolf. This is round drill. Oh, I was going here. 24 colors. As you can see, no, I do not write these on there the same way. So, put these all together. Um, and that is the wolf painting. Bring you down just a little bit. <laughs> Let me show you this. This is pitiful. He's a good cat. He really is. He's only about four years old, but he's not like really like hyper or anything. So, yeah, I'm talking about you. He loves me to death. He's always wanting to be around me. But this is what you get. Um, looks like looks really good. And all of these paintings seem really good. Um, the canvas may not be the best quality, uh, but um, all in all, the symbols look really clear. They're sticky. The drills look pretty good. Look really good. So you know, if you're looking for um, some paintings like on a sale, then by all means, I think, I just, the only issue I have with Sigmal, and I will say this, the only issue I had with Sigmal was, I can't remember if I checked out as guest or not, but I did go back later on and try to create an account so that I could keep up with my order, so I could see what, because I couldn't remember what I ordered down the road, like, I couldn't remember. So I wanted to um, be able to log in and to my account and see what I ordered. However, even after I created an account, as soon as I created an account, I don't know if this was an issue with logging in through my phone um, because I didn't try to do it on a regular computer. Um, I kept meaning to, but I don't usually use my laptop that often, so it stays put away when I don't need it. Um, so, but even creating an account, whenever I would try to log in, um, I would type in, I would put in my, my login information and it would, uh, come up with 
a, one of those capture things where you gotta select all the pictures that create, that, that feature like a palm tree or a car or something along those lines. And after I would do that, it would say pass, incorrect password. Um, and the password was actually correct. So I don't know what, I don't know what the issue was. I don't know if it was because I was trying to log in on my mobile device and the site's just not set up for that, but I never could get into the account that I created. Um, but I was able to check the tracking, so to speak, check the progress of the order. Um, although it doesn't, didn't really feature much information. It just gives you, if you type in, um, your email address that you used when you ordered and the, I'm trying to remember what the other information was. I think your zip code or something like that. Um, it takes you to a page that shows the date that you ordered, their, your order number, um, whether it's been processed, fulfilled, completed, whatever. And that's all the information you get. It doesn't, you can't click on it to see what items are in that order. Um, so that's basically the only information that I had to go on. I was fortunately using, I was actually using both 17 track and the order app to try to keep track of this order. Although, um, which one was it? I think it was the order app that actually showed which ones that I had on there. Um, I can't remember, but basically the Sigma website was little to no help as far as keeping, keeping track with what you've ordered. Like I, like I said, I wasn't even able to log into the account that I created. Um, so I don't know what's up with that. If anybody knows, let me know in the comments. If it's, if you think I would have had better luck log, trying to log in from an actual computer instead of a mobile device. Um, but yeah, let me know. Um, other than that, um, my experience with Sigma seems to be a positive one. And I may decide to order from them again in the future. Uh, however, there's a lot of websites that I order from, so, um, but yeah, not too shabby. Put all these in here. So, that is going to do it, um, for this particular video. Um, it's the first time I've ever ordered from Sigma, so, um, this will probably be a kind of the first time, this is with the, the first timers club, first time buyers club. So, um, yeah, let me know what you guys think. If you've ever ordered from Sigma before, if you think this might be a shop that you, um, are interested in checking out, um, leave me, leave me some comments. I love hearing the comments. So, um, until next time guys, um, be good and I'll talk to you later. Bye.